Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the new Baofeng BHF7, which is an FM handheld radio from Baofeng and it's claimed that it's got an output power of 10 watts which off the bat I don't believe anyway but we will be putting that to the test a little later. I bought this from AliExpress about a week and a half ago and it arrived this morning and when I ordered it I was given the option of having just the contents inside the box blister wrapped and sent over without having the need to uh, have the box shipped and it was a little bit cheaper so um, I thought I would do that and uh, it arrived today so without further ado we're gonna start unpackaging it see what we get I'm gonna give you a closer look at the radio and then we're gonna do the all-important power test I know a lot of people do go to YouTube when they want to see new radios and at the time of this recording I haven't been able to find an actual unboxing or a, a general all over look at this radio so um, I thought I'd do a video and hopefully it helps one of you guys out so without further ado let's get unpackaging some time later um, that was wrapped up pretty well I must say so, first of all, we have the all-important power cable. And, fortunately for me, it's, uh, it's the UK plug. So, happy days. The all-important lanyard strap. The obligatory earpiece that you normally get. We have the belt clip, the dock, pretty standard, the stock antenna, we have the user manual which clearly states 10 watts but we'll put that to the test without a doubt and lastly The radio itself. Closer look at the radio now. Up front we have a really nice clicky keypad, rubberized buttons. This is the menu key when we turn it on which is quite important because I just had to use Google Translate to figure out how to switch it between channel mode into VFO mode and I couldn't find a way of doing it. So normally you, you short press, it will take you to the menu and you can go through all the usual menu items you find on other Baofeng radios. But to switch between channel mode and VFO mode, you long press the green menu key, like so. And you'll find all your programmed saved programmed frequencies in there and then to get back to frequency mode you long press again so on the left hand side of the unit we have the SOS key if you long press that it sends out an alarm we got the PTT switch we have this button here which I believe can be programmed but um, at the moment when I press it it tells me the state of the battery as you can see and then down at the bottom, that is the FM broadcast mode for your broadcast stations. On the other side, we have the usual Baofeng setup, microphone and speaker socket. So you can plug in a normal Baofeng speaker mic and programming cable. And then at the top, we have the volume and on and off switch here and we also have the channel select or switch between frequencies in VFO mode and the same can be done from the arrows as well so before we do any power test let's check the back of the radio quickly 
and as you can see we've got the model number and we have the output power is 10 watts so I'm gonna go and get my power meter and I shall bring you back in a little while and we'll put that to the test and see just what it's doing right the all-important power test now we're using the Surecom SW33 and we've got it set to power or watts now the way this is done I couldn't put this in to the um, radio without this little adapter because of this channel select knob on top so I've had to put this little uh, small adapter in and unfortunately it's back to front but it is what it is so I will show you first we will try we'll try VHF and we are on 145 350 and we're going straight into a dummy load so the all-important VHF power test here we go five watts five watts so it's doing five watts on VHF and let's switch to UHF so now we're on 433350 again same again and we will press the PTT and what are we getting now not sure if that's going to show up in the video but it's 10.8 10.7 so it's doing 10 watts which is quite surprising now this meter I must admit can be a little bit temperamental it can give false readings but if that reading is correct then it's doing what it says it's doing so it's doing the full 10 watts on uh, UHF and 5 watts VHF and that has actually surprised me so there we have it after a very surprising power test I think um, it's not a bad little radio it really isn't now I do have to mention at the date this is going out this video this radio is not supported by Chirp at the present I'm going to end the video there I hope this video was of some help to you you may be seeing this video on these Chinese websites and you just wanted a closer look and a little bit of info maybe or even maybe wanted to see the power test which is all important so that's been it and I hope it has been of some help so if it has you know please do drop a like below because it really does help out the channel and if you've just stumbled across this video and you're not subscribed maybe you could hit that subscribe button but you don't have to until the next video guys I'm going to wish you all the best 7-3, stay safe and take care. And goodbye for now.